The question says you discuss the shape of the following molecules using the shape model. These are the molecules given for which we have to determine shape by using the shape theory. To apply the shape theory, we follow the orders. First, you should calculate the number of sigma 1 formed by the central element in the molecule. Next, determine hybridization. We have hybridization. And then you can determine shape. Okay? You can determine shape. You might have learned if the number of sigma bond, if number of sigma bond are 2, then hybridization will be, hybridization will be sp and shape will be linear. This is what you might have learned. If number of sigma bond are 3, hybridization will be sp2 and uh, shape will be trigonal planar. Number of sigma bond 4, hybridization will be sp3 and geometry, no sorry, shape will be tetrahedral. Number of sigma bond 5, then hybridization will be sp3d and in this case we get trigonal bipyramidal. If number of sigma bond 6, hybridization will be sp3 and it is d2 and we get octahedral shape. This is what we have octahedral shape. By using this information, we can answer this question. <coughs> okay, you can see first molecule is your beryllium chloride. We have first molecule BeCl2 is there. BeCl2. Pay attention carefully. Okay, first of all, we have to determine the number of sigma bond. You can see this is the central element. <coughs> beryllium is the central element. Beryllium is present in the second group elements. Hence, it has two valence electrons. We mentioned this is two valence electrons are there. You can see Cl is what? Halogens. Halogens always form single bond. Here we have the single bond is there. We can mention the dot. Because six electrons we can mention. And out of seven, one electron is used for the bond formation. Now we calculate the number of sigma bond. How many sigma bond? This is first sigma bond. This is the second sigma bond. Two sigma bond are there. For the two sigma bond, hybridization will be sp. Only two orbitals are overlapping. And then in this case, the shape we are getting linear is there. Linear. So this molecule is having linear shape. We can mention this is beryllium. This is Cl and this is Cl is there. In this case, bond angle is supposed to be 180 degree. Okay, done. Now next molecule, we can move on. Next molecule we have... <coughs> BCL3 okay BCL3 one we have BCL3 better I remove this information <coughs> BCL3 we have BCL3 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 is there again we find out the number of sigma bond boron is present in the 13 group elements 13 group elements and it has three valence electron this is one and this two and it is three is there you can see again halogen each halogen forming one single bond one single bond okay we can mention the dot but these dots does not play any role in determining the shape we have to focus only on the number of sigma bond formed by the central element this is the central element it is forming how many sigma bond this is the first sigma bond second sigma bond this is the third sigma bond it is forming how many sigma bond three sigma bond and then we can determine hybridization hybridization will be sp2 and then we are getting trigonal planar shape will be trigonal planar means boron you can mention here Boron and Cl will come here, Cl will come here, Cl come. This is the structure. This is not the structure. We just simply have drawn this structure to determine the number of sigma 1. Exact structure, this is what we have. Okay. Next, we have SiCl4 is there. Okay. Next, we have SiCl4. We have SiCl4 is there. Keep in mind, carbon silicon. Uh, silicon it is present in the carbon family 14 group means it also has uh, four valence electron this is silicon one two and three and it is four four valence electrons are there halogen halogen always form a single bond here we have the single bond is there now calculate the number of sigma bond this silicon is forming how many sigma bond one two three four four sigma bond four sigma bond in the sense hybridization will be sp3 and then we get tetrahedral the shape will be tetrahedral silicon will be present over here and this is cl this is cl this is cl and this is also cl this is the shape we get and bond angle will be 109 degree 28 minute okay Move on to the next molecule, we have AS arsenic F5 is there. We have arsenic F5, okay. We have AS and F5 is there. Now pay attention carefully. Follow the same step. First of all, we calculate the number of sigma bond. Arsenic, keep in mind arsenic is present in the 15 group, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic. Means arsenic has how many valence electron? Five valence electron. We have arsenic is there. One, two, three, four and five are there. 5 valence electron. You can see again halogen. Halogen form a single bond. Sorry, it is supposed to be fluorine. This is fluorine. This is also fluorine. This is also fluorine. And this is also fluorine. Okay. If 
the central element is forming uh, the bonds uh, if the central element is using all its valence electron for the bond formation it will not carry any lone pairs okay you can see it is having this arsenic is having how many valence electron five and it is forming five bond means it does not carry any lone pairs now we can calculate the number of sigma bond one two three four five five sigma bond a five sigma bond hybridization will be sp3 and d and then we are getting what kind of a shape we are getting a shape that is what trigonal bipyramidal means arsenic will be present here and f will come here f f and f and this is f this is the structure we are getting okay trigonal bipyramidal now we move on to the next molecule <coughs> we have h2s okay this is quite interesting why because keep in mind we have h2s and central element is what sulfur we have sulfur is present in oxygen family 16 group means it has how many valence electron it has six valence electron okay it has how many valence electron six valence electrons are there then we have hydrogen each hydrogen forms single one so i can attach one hydrogen here one hydrogen here okay now we go for the shape but keep in mind you can see one and two two sigma bond are there but apart from sigma bond it is having lone pair also okay it is having lone pair two lone pair are there two lone pair keep in mind when we determine the hybridization number of lone pair is equal to number of sigma bond one lone pair is equal to one sigma bond is there okay so you can see two lone pair will also be equal to two sigma bond two sigma bond plus two sigma bond is equal to total four sigma bond and it will give us sp3 hybridization and from here the shape we are getting tetrahedral either this is the shape okay keep in mind this is the shape and shape does not include lone pairs but in case if we include lone pair so you can keep the lone pair how many lone pairs are there one and two sorry two lone pairs are there we keep these lone pairs the portion we are keeping the lone pair we can hide it if i hide this portion you can see the geometry is coming like this we shape bent yeah angular you can see this is what we have okay so shape we can say tetrahedral but if we talk about you know geometry if we consider the lone pair then it will be having v shape geometry yeah we can say angular also angular or we can say bent bent is there and this is happening because of the lone pair this central element is having two lone pair and because of the lone pair shape changes okay in these cases we did not get any lone pair up to here we did not get any lone pairs uh, purchased by the central element you can see it is having lone pair that's why it is uh, its shape is changing next we have ph3 okay very interesting we have phosphine is there this is what ph3 is there nitrogen phosphorus phosphorus is present 15 uh, 15 group elements nitrogen phosphorus the phosphorus we have how many valence electron it has a uh, five valence electron present in a 15 group nitrogen family hydrogen each hydrogen forms a single bond we have hydrogen you can see hydrogen now you can see this element is also having central element is also having one lone pair how many sigma bond this is sigma bond this is sigma bond this is also sigma bond sorry <coughs> so we have three sigma bond we are getting three sigma bond plus one lone pair one lone pair is equal to one sigma bond to determine hybridization four sigma bond again we are getting sp3 and then regular shape that is tetrahedral is there okay in tetrahedral if we place the lone pair how many lone pair one lone pair if i place the lone pairs okay you hide this portion if you connect this portion like this we have connected this portion so you can see this portion is coming as a pyramidal shape okay it is coming a pyramidal so it will have geometry pyramidal shape will be the pyramidal shape because of the lone pair okay shape is what tetrahedral but geometry is coming pyramidal because of the lone pair present over the central element so in this question we have learned one thing regular shape if it's there but if the central element is having lone pair its shape will change because of the lone pair lone pair repulsion lone pair bond pair repulsion so keep in mind if the lone pair is possessed by the central element you need to be careful while determining shape as well as geometry if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel